What's up guys, it's MCJ, Matt Collins Jones here and I'm back with another video on power effects and commanding in model driven apps and we're going to look at the ability to show and hide buttons. So if you haven't checked out my last video on commanding and power effects and how you can use it, check that out here. But what I'm going to show in this video is how we can use this to dynamically show and hide buttons. This is something that is often a, a request from users when they do a certain thing, maybe we um, make a button disappear or maybe we disable a button in, in some cases. What we can do in PowerFX is we can actually make them disappear and reappear. So we can do this dynamically or we can set this statically. And that's what we're going to go through today. So let's take a look at it. So I'm here in my PowerFX commanding area. Um, so if you don't know how to do this, please check out the last video. Uh, and again, I'm back with my same button, my MCJ, my MCJ cool button, uh, which shows this awesome uh, notify message. And is if we go into the right hand side, uh, we'll notice down at the bottom, it says visibility and it says always show. So at the moment, when I choose the, um, the, the uh, command on the top left, I only have a single thing, the on select command. So I can only do something on select. So the visibility down here is always show or show on condition from formula. So if I choose show on condition from formula, I do get a, a new little button down here. It says open FX, uh, open formula bar. But if I go up to the top left, I now have additional options up here. I have visible as well as on select. So you notice that the visible at the moment is true. Now I could just set this to false. And what I'll do is that'll just hide the button. So true is true, false is false. Um, so there's no, there's no button for like never show. Um, if you want it to never show, you can just set it to false. Um, in this instance, what I want to do is I want to do a formula. So I want to show or hide the button based on a, a condition or based on a formula I have. So one uh, one of the popular ones is to maybe show things when uh, show things if something's uh, blank or, or not blank, for instance. So what I will do is I will type the formula is blank. Um, and then open brackets. Now you'll see the, the syntax there that pops up and says, hey, you put an expression in here and based on the expression, it will return true or false. Now I need to interact with the form a little bit. So this is a main form. Now on the main form, I have this, uh, this operator called self. I'm oh, sorry, in, in Paravax, I have this operator called self. And the self re refers to the thing that you're in. So if I'm in a main form, if I'm in a form on a, on a record uh, and I can interact with that form, I know what that is. That is myself in a way. So we can choose the word self and that's a command. Um, choosing dot, I then get a bunch of other things. Uh, the one I'm looking for in this instance is selected. So again, although I'm not selecting a, a specific record, I'm in a record and therefore it's the one selected. Another dot, and I had two options there, all items or item. Item refers to the singular, all items refers to multiple. So in this instance, I'm on a single record because I'm in a form and I'll choose item. Um, from here, when I press the dot, I get a list of all of the fields that are on my form. So I can specify which one of these I want to check to see if it's blank or not. Now, in my instance, what I want to do is I want to check to see whether, let's refresh this page just a second. Uh, I want to check to see whether this phone number is blank. So if this phone is blank, I want to um, I, I don't want to show the, um, the field. If it contains data, I want to show the field. So if I go back to my editor here, um, I would usually type in phone. Does that make sense? But as you see, it kind of doesn't, it, it, it doesn't appear there. It's so, okay, is it not phone? So I go back to my trusty form and uh, once it finished loading up, I can choose my level up tool and I can go logical names. And I can say, right, okay, I want the logical names for all the fields in this form. Telephone one is the logical name for this field. Okay, let's search telephone one. I come in here and I type in telephone. I get telephone three. I get all these other ones, 
but I do not get the phone, the phone number that I'm looking for. The reason for this is that it actually uses the display name. So if I go back to my uh, solution and go to my account, I've added the field here, it is main phone. So as I open it up, we can see it's using the display name. So this is one thing that may catch you out. It's not going to use the label name on the form. It's not even going to use the schema name. It's going to use the display name. Sometimes all these are in sync, in which case you'll be fine. Sometimes they aren't, you'll have to go searching for them. So just do be aware that it's not going to use the, the label name or the schema name. It's going to use the display name at a field level or column level, so it's fine. So we'll go back and those of you that were paying attention did notice that main phone pops up a lot. So main phone, right there, cool. Uh, and then we can close the brackets. So that, that's all, all we need. So this is just going to evaluate and depending on whether it's populated or not, it's going to show it or not. So what it's saying is, this is saying it's visible if this field is blank, if it's not blank, it's not going to be visible. All the other way around, I uh, I'm <laughs> I, uh, I always get confused with uh, with operators like is blank and stuff like that. So we'll save and publish. We'll hit play. Then we will navigate to our account, which is this Batman account, and we can see we have the MCJ call button here. So if I type in a telephone number in here and hit save, it's going to remove that button. So now this is not blank, um, and therefore that formula evaluates to false. So is this blank? No, it's not blank, it's false, so don't show it. Else, if it is blank, it's true, therefore show it. So if I go back in and if I remove the text and I hit save again, it's going to show the button. So one thing to kind of be aware of there is that it doesn't show it as soon as I type something in. So if I type something in and then tab away, it's not going to automatically evaluate that. It's going to wait until we have that save result. Now the reason for that is that on the save, it's going to refresh that command bar. If I don't press the save, then it's not going to refresh the command bar. If you do need to get around this, you can have JavaScript that will refresh forms or like save and refresh forms on change, which you have to do at a form level. But for now, um, you just need to wait until we hit the save, which it's doing right now. Uh, and we can see that it, the auto save kicked in there and it's removed that button. So that's just one way we can do this. And we can, we can you know, do this on other things. So we don't necessarily need to um, have the is blank. We could have statements which check um, option set values. We can um, have things that check to see whether it's higher or lower than a certain number. You can do any sort of thing uh, with this function, but knowing that you can edit this function and, and you know do some changes and go, right, okay, if this is blank, do this, or if this is over a certain number, do that. That's really cool and that's really handy because this gives us more control over these awesome buttons. So what do you guys think? That was a, a simple tutorial on how to show and hide buttons using PowerFX uh, in the new command designer. Um, do you think you'll be using this in future? Are you still going to be using the Ruby Workbench? Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if you did like this video, if you'd like it and share it with a friend, that would be appreciated. If you've not already, click the subscribe button, stay up to date with all my latest videos. I'll see you next time.